Hi, I'm Kate with RGG EDU, and I'm going to show you how to install and run the Mona Lisa Action. So if you're not familiar with Actions, there are a couple ways to get to our Actions panel. The first is to hit our play button over here, which will expand the panel. Alternatively, we can go up to our Window tab and scroll down to Actions, and that'll pop that up as well. And you'll notice here that our action panel is currently empty. We need to load the action. And to do that, we'll go to our little tab up here, scroll down to load actions. And you'll see that I've got my actions saved into a folder on my desktop. If you haven't used the actions before, or you just downloaded them, they'll be in your download folder. So I'm going to go here and select my Mona Lisa action and click open. And you'll now see that it's loaded into the actions panel. Now, if I expand my set here, I'm going to click on the actual action, and then to run it, we hit play, and there we have our action loaded. Let's take a look at the Mona Lisa action and see how it's affecting our image. So it's going to compress our dynamic range and brighten those shadows and reduce our highlights to give it this really beautiful, creamy, painterly effect. So let's break this down a little bit more. I'm going to expand our layers here, and you'll notice that this is broken into a couple different groups. First is our reduced yellows. And if I toggle this on and off, you'll see that it's a really subtle color shift, but it's taking those yellow tones and then it's bringing them into more of the red range. The bulk of the action occurs in our painterly effect group here. So if I toggle this on and off, you're going to notice that our shadows are getting a lot brighter and our highlights are getting a lot darker. So it compresses the tonal range of the image. So now we have a lot more nuance and detail in the face area. So just to kind of show you before, and after. So we're getting a lot more variation across the face and the skin tones for a lot of that detail, and this helps give that painterly look. Let's take a look at how this looks on another studio image. So I'm going to pull up our dancer here and then hit play on our action. We toggle this on and off. It's going to add a lot more depth into our skin tone. You're going to notice the minute differences in highlights and shadows. Come into our layers here. You'll notice that each of these individual layers is named according to its function. So if there's something you think that you might want to change about the image, you can go into these individual layers and toggle them on and off, get an idea of how they're going to impact the image. And the great part about this is that they're named intuitively. So if you don't necessarily know how to operate a curves layer, it's fine. You can just read what the action is doing. In addition to being able to toggle these layers on and off, we can also affect the opacity. So say, for instance, the painterly effect is a little bit too strong for you, we can just come in and reduce the opacity of an individual layer of a whole group. We have a lot of control within the action to customize it to your needs. If you have an image that doesn't have a lot of contrast to begin with, it may not necessarily be the right fit because it'll tend to flatten the image a bit too much. This image, for example, was shot with one light, so there's a lot more contrast in the face. So if we run our action here, shadows are coming up, our highlights are coming down. We still have a lot of detail in the skin tones. And then we're adding just a little bit more of the red tones to combat the yellows. So it gives it a really nice effect. A lot of my inspiration comes from the classic painters, the old masters. So if that's the sort of aesthetic that you're going for, this is a really powerful action.